out of your belly, out of your, out of your shelf, Lord. Out of your, out of your rivers of living water. Out of your, out of your Welcome to the men of integrity, men that rescue men and women. As always, we are delighted that you have joined us for a journey through the word of God. I know that you will testify with me tonight that through it all, we've learned to trust in Jesus. All right. We've learned to trust in God. Through it all, we've learned to depend upon his word. Matthew 4 and 4, as we always say, man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Call a neighbor, call a friend, and tell them that the men of integrity is on the air, and there is a word concerning you and your family for your next dimension of faith and power. Remember, this is a time of importation, a time of inspiration, and a time of transformation. We expect you to change by this word that is being released into your life. Your life is going to get better. You're going to get wiser. You're going to be stronger. So grab your Bible and tune in. This is going to be great. We have tonight our Apostle J. Edward Fisher, pastor of Saint Center, Coppers Cove, and Colleen. Well, praise the name of the Lord. We certainly thank the Lord for you um, on tonight. Um, we thank the Lord for this season. This is the Easter season where we come to celebrate our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. And regardless of what's going on, uh, the Bible says he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And so we want to celebrate that. Praise him. In the midst of all of this here, uh, we love Jesus. We certainly do love Jesus. And you know, Apostle, you seem like you always have the right words to transition <laughs> us in. You know, this is all about you. Mm-hmm. If you really want to know what is all the rhetoric about and all of the this, that, and the other, it's all about you. Mm -hmm. For God so loved you that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him would not perish, but would have everlasting life. Satan is upset about that. And he does not want you to have life and mm -hmm. life more abundantly. That's right. And so all of this that is going on, the warfares in the atmospheres, stratospheres, and hemispheres, all of this is about your life and your life more abundantly. Mm -hmm. Let's get our scripture text, Apostle, and jump in. John chapter 15 and verse 16. I want you to hear this. Ye have not chosen me, mm. but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Mm -hmm. Now, if that's not blessed, <laughs> I don't know what else is. <laughs> to know that he chose us, mm -hmm. to know that he ordained us, that we might have the ability and the capability to bring forth fruit. Mm -hmm that the devil can't touch, that that fruit will remain. And then he says, when you get to that level, you can ask the Father for whatever you desire, and he'll do it. If that ain't blessed, I don't know what is. Yeah, you know, this, this is a great salvation, Bishop. Um, and um, uh, we just have to be praying that we not neglect it, right? It has so, I mean, it, what, what can I say? You know, he not only chose us, but then he made us sons. He could have just chose us. You understand what I'm saying? And kept us uh, like we were, but no, he brought us into the family. Yes. Right? And, and then he calls us sons of God. And then he gave us power to become. Now, if that's not blessed, I don't know what's blessed myself. <laughs> <laughs> and you think that's blessed, <laughs> you need to get a hold of what I'm about to share with you next. All right. You want to know why your sons and your daughters are struggling so? Mm. You want to know why you are in such a battle? It's because of the choice that God made concerning you. Mm -hmm. And here is your potential 
in Exodus 19 and 6, mm -hmm. and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests mm. and a holy nation. These are the words that you shall speak to the sons of Israel. You're going to be unto God a kingdom, mm -hmm. a priest <laughs> and a holy nation. Come on now. God says, listen, I foreknew you and I've called you. And I'm telling you tonight, Satan is upset. Satan is mad. Okay? He is oh, yeah. not happy about who you are mm -hmm. in God and what God has chosen your sons and your daughters to be. And this is why we apostles as individuals must align ourselves with the word of God that we may reach that potential mm -hmm. so that we can clear the airways okay, and the pathways <laughs> for our sons and daughters to be who God sees and has ordained them to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, uh, 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 when you say all of that, you just, you just, my mind just goes everywhere. Number one is he says, uh, Peter was standing up on the day of Pentecost and says, for not only uh, you, but your children's mm. children. Yeah. Praise the, and to as many as the Lord God. So why well, this here? You just keep that, uh, that, that line going down and God will bless everything for you. Watch this here. If you just do what he tell you to do. Then, then I thought about in first Peter two and nine, it says, but ye are a chosen yes. generation, a royal priesthood a holy nation, yes. a peculiar people that should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness mm -hmm. into his marvelous light. Lord have mercy. Have mercy. <laughs> if you could just get the insight, mm -hmm. if you could just understand the revelation that he chose you, he's mm -hmm. called you mm -hmm. into this prestige place. Mm -hmm. But the devil don't like it. The kingdom of darkness don't like it. Mm -hmm. The things of the kingdom, they don't like it. And because they don't like it, they war against you every single day. But God says it doesn't matter. It's my choice concerning you. All right. All right. It's who I say you are and who I say your children are. And you have to walk it out day by day through prayer, thanksgiving, supplication, mm -hmm. humility, and get to that place, apostle, of faith, power, and dominion. Mm -hmm. So not only you reach the potential, but your children reach the potential. Yeah, and then I would say add to it joy and gladness. Yes. <laughs> it says serve the Lord with gladness. Yes. What, you know, we, uh, this was the problem with Israel, right? God did all of those great things for Israel and had all of those great potentials for Israel, but they had a problem, Bishop. They didn't serve the Lord in joy and gladness. Well, you know, that's the reason why I believe that not only that generation, mm -hmm. but the generation that we live in now mm -hmm. struggle with that. And that is because they cannot really see. Mm who they are, whom they are, <laughs> and all of those other things. They cannot see that. All right. Because when you look at Revelation 5 and 10, and he has made us unto our God kings and priests, mm -hmm. and we shall reign on the earth. How do you reign when you're steady being chased and driven, bondage by the tactics, schemes, and vices of Satan. How do you reign when you don't have joy, peace, and righteousness in the Holy Ghost? Mm -hmm. We have not reached our potential so that God can do the things which he has ordained to take place in our lives and in the lives of our children. We got to get to that place. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and, and, and technically, it's called faith. We got to believe what God says, regardless to what's happening. And we've got to, uh, watch, we got to walk this thing out based on what he said, not based on what we feel, not based on what we see, mm -hmm. not based on what we taste, not based on what we taught, touch, what we walk by faith and not by sight. And that's what, uh, that's what we come to really show that, okay, we believe God, we're fully persuaded. And so, 
uh, natural thing says this, but God says that. And that's where I'm yes. at. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, the principle behind this thing, my beloved tonight, is that you got to know. Mm -hmm. That's right. And you have to seek to find out. You have to understand who you are and whom your children are. Mm -hmm. In John chapter 8 and verse 32, the principle of the matter is, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Mm -hmm. The truth will set you free Amen. from low self-esteem. Amen. It will set you free from discouragement. Mm -hmm. It will set you free from apostles' uh, word, dismay, <laughs> terrifying. Come on, come on, come okay? on. Spiritual attacks and all of the things that keep us down and out. Mm -hmm. When you know the truth about you, you can get up, stand up, dust yourself off, and now walk in the power of God. Mm -hmm. But somebody got to reveal truth to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, I heard this here. This is kind of bothered me. You know, some people say, well, I don't need to go to church to be saved. No, no. Well, you could be saved in many places. Watch this here. But if you're going to walk this thing out, if you're going to live this life, if you're going to be where God wants you to be, you've got to be in the church house. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, Apostle, there are certain things that you can grasp mm -hmm. on your own. Mm -hmm. But there are other things that has to be revealed to you, mm -hmm. made plain to you, open up to you. And that's the job of the church mm -hmm. and the preacher. All right. I think that there's been such a great misconception concerning the church. Mm -hmm. The church is the university of God. The church is the dwelling place of the Holy Ghost. All right. <laughs> the church is the place where you meet God. Mm -hmm. okay? No, you don't live out your life in the church, okay? but you are educated and strengthened and given wisdom through the church so that you can walk out your life in this perverse generation. Mm -hmm. And now I know how to endure hardness as a good soldier. Mm -hmm. I know how to stand in faith. I know how to having done all to stand to stand. I'm taught how to use the weapons of my warfare. Yeah. But apostle, if that doesn't happen, if the truth is not revealed, if I'm not taught, then I'm just a chaff blowing in the wind. Yeah, and then here's the thing about it. You need fellowship. Come on, <laughs> you need fellowship. We need to be with like people. That, that was, that's gonna help keep us going. Praise the name of the Lord, and we know that we're not there alone. And um, when you know you are not alone and everything, that helps you too. Um, uh, we need that, we need somebody to be watching us. Um, not us watching ourselves. And if we are missing the mark, Bishop, watch this here, the church will be able to set us on the right course. We, 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 we need church. That's why the Bible says, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together as the matter is. When you really start understanding that, watch this here, uh, um, uh, a church is gonna be your life. Yes. You need to find out what what God has called you to. And a lot of times you're not gonna find it out from the church. You're gonna find it out being in the church that God has called you to this uh, particular destiny. Praise the name of the Lord. So what, what, can, what can we say? And then the preacher is there. And the Bible says this year about the preacher, I love this year. It says, um, it says in Malachi two and seven, it says the priest lip yes. should keep knowledge. Yes. And they shall seek the law at his mouth. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Man, that's the word of God. Mm -hmm. That's the word of God. And the enemy fights us so much about truth. Mm -hmm. The enemy fights us so much of having the wisdom and the knowledge. Oh, yeah. You know, I know those of you that are listening tonight, you have been in a place of despair. You have been in a place of oppression and depression. Mm -hmm not having the physical strength, physically or mentally, neither emotionally, to overcome this barrier in your life. There has been a season in time where you have been hurt 
and wounded and deeply wounded. Mm. And you couldn't overcome that by yourself. This is why the knowledge that comes through the church. Mm, that's right. This is why the encouragement that comes out of the mouth of the priest, mm -hmm. the preacher, mm -hmm. okay, that restores us back to the place of reconciliation. Even when we have fallen, apostle, and come short of the glory of God, mm. and the spirit of condemnation comes upon you, not just conviction, but the spirit of condemnation comes upon you and you feel the weight of the guilt. You feel the weight of the embarrassment. You feel the weight of the failure. This is where the preacher's voice, mm -hmm. the fellowship of the saints, the place of praise and glory and worship restores you back to the place where you can continue. Yeah, yeah, and you have to understand how the head of the church, which is Jesus, how he works through the church. Revelation say he had the seven stars in his right hand. Now the seven stars we, we believe are the pastors. And so uh, even as the pastors are speaking to you, the head of the church is speaking through them and he knows your problem. Yes and he'll give you a word or you sometimes all you need is a word that's it a word watch this here will put you back watch this here and wipe out everything and put you back on the path you need that place of fellowship uh and to and no sheep is running a loose without a shepherd you know <laughs> we in real time mm, real time and we don't have time to waste your children's future mm -hmm. is at risk. Your siblings, your parents, and even your future is at risk. Mm -hmm. And Second Peter 3 and 9, the Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise, as some count slowness. All right. But is patient towards you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Repentance won't come without conviction. Conviction will never come without hearing the authenticity of God's word. Because it is repentance towards God that makes the difference. David said in the 51st Division of Psalms, against you and you only have our sin. He recognized, Apostle, that he needed to have a clean heart. And he needed a right spirit renewed in him. All right. He understood that whatever the situation was going to be, he needed God to let him keep the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to first get the Holy Ghost in order to be <laughs> able to keep the Holy Ghost. And Amen. to get the Holy Ghost, you must be taught the understanding of the Holy Ghost. Stop listening to all of that extra that's going on as it relates to God, the spirit of God, the power of the Holy Ghost and all this. You need to experience this for yourself mm -hmm. so that you will know the things concerning God, which is truth, power and might. Yeah. And, and, and you're just not going to be able to to work this out without the help of the Holy Ghost. Some people are trying hard, Bishop. Uh, yeah, we can build churches without the Holy Ghost. We can do a lot of things, but we can't live this life. That's right. Why is this saying we can't, uh, and we won't know what God is saying without the Holy Ghost. I don't care how smart you are. I don't even care what university you matriculated from. Why is this here? There's another school called the School of the Spirit. Absolutely. And why is this here? And, 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 and he knows how to teach you. And his classroom is you. <laughs> Absolutely. We're not fighting against flesh and blood. That's right. But we're fighting against spiritual wickedness, principalities of darkness, kingdoms of darkness. This thing that is fighting against your mind was not born of men. Come on now. This thing that's fighting against your mind didn't just pop up from around the corner. His objective is not your money, nor your marriage neither your career. His objective is your future in eternity mm. because heaven and earth is going to pass away, but God's word is not going to fail. 
All of these things that we are seeking and dealing with, they are temporary things. But what about that which is eternal? John 10 and 10 says, the thief come but to kill, to steal and destroy. But Jesus says, I come to give you something that he cannot destroy. I come to give you life mm. and life more, more abundant. abundantly. Mm. God's principles are practical, beneficial, and life transforming for those who choose to know them and apply biblical principles into their lives. It's an action that you must take by faith and knowledge, not an action through ignorance, mm. but an action through faith and knowledge. Yeah, and the only way you can really be what we call real free is only in Jesus. Yes. There's, no, there's no freedom outside of that. Anything outside of Jesus is, is bondage, uh, deception, despair, um, um, hopelessness, uh, you name it. Um, but inside of Jesus is the freedom. It says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. You're so right. If you are a student of the word, mm -hmm. you know the record says, I've set before you life. Go ahead. And I've set before you death. Mm. I've set before you blessings and I've set before you curses. And I told you which one to choose. Mm -hmm. I told you to choose life. life. Yes. Because this world is real. Watch what Isaiah 43 and 2 says. When you pass through the waters, mm. meaning that you're going to go through those waters, mm -hmm. I'll be with you. Mm. And through the rivers, mm -hmm. they shall not overwhelm you. All right. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned and the flame shall not consume you. If you have any level of intellectual, comprehensive understanding, you will understand that this writer is suggesting that these things are going to happen in our lives. But we have someone <laughs> come on come that on. has chosen us that wants to be with us, that, mm. that has promised that when you go through all of these things in life, I'm going to be with you. Why? I chose you. I've ordained you that you will bring forth this fruit. This fruit will remain. And you can ask me for whatever you desire and the Father will give it to you. But it's the wisdom and the knowledge of knowing what to ask and when to ask. Yeah, and he's put in his word uh, uh, different um, stories uh, and, and reality that that's happened to show that he not only just said he would be with you, but he demonstrated how he was with uh, uh, the people of God through the fire. Yes. We remember we remember the three Hebrew boys. Yes. Yes. Uh, we remember the the nation a nation went through a sea. Now they try to the theologians try to downplay it. Uh, where the water re just receded at that time. No, 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 friend. Praise the name of the Lord. God, the Bible said he blew out of his nostrils and opened the sea up and congealed the waters. Praise the name of the Lord. And then blew on it all night and they walked through dry shot. You're going to go through your, your difficulties and your trials, uh, um, uh, but God's going to walk you through it. Yes. And it, and, and it may look like it will terrify you, Bishop. But watch this here. But he says it won't come nigh unto you. He said only with your eyes you'll see the reward of the wicked. But uh, watch this here. And then uh, the psalmist picks it up and he says, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. I shall not want. It's going to be all right. But you got to stay with him, though. That's powerful. And it's true. Mm, it's true. Isaiah 43 and 2 what Apostle just described and I read for you, it says no one is exempt from difficult times. You need to dry your eyes. You need to wipe your nose. <laughs> you need to straighten up your clothes. You need to hold your head up and understand that there is a way through this situation. Mm -hmm. And Jesus Christ is the way. Is the way. Well, I don't know him and I don't know where to find him come back to church. He has a representative 
that will lead and guide you to the place where you can hear him, you can feel him, and you can see the manifestation of his miraculous power operating in your life. Mm -hmm. It's time to think about this thing. He chose you. Why are you rejecting the person that chose you? He ordained you. Why are you rejecting the ordination of blessings? Mm. And he said, I'm giving you fruit that will remain, meaning that you're going to continue to be productive in everything that you do, but it's not going to be without Jesus. Yeah. And here, here, here's uh, uh, this is what really grabs me, Bishop. He says, he says now, he says, when he come, we're going to be like him. Yes. Lord have mercy. Praise the name of we watch this here. Uh, we we got a great we've got a great future. And we want we don't want to damage that future. We, we want to keep on with him because one day it's gonna be over. Um and uh, we're gonna live with him eternally. Uh, 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 eternity is a long time. Yes. Uh, now you're gonna live somewhere, but I wanna be with Jesus. I, I, absolutely. The world as we have known it has passed on. The methodology of the way we've done things is new. You're going to have to find a new and more excellent way. In Mark 9 and 23, Jesus said unto them, If thou believe, all things are possible to him that believe. Mm -hmm. In Mark 11 and 24, he says, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when you pray, believe that you shall receive them and you shall have them. It's understanding truth, it's understanding who you are, it's understand whose you are, it's understanding God, Jesus, the Almighty, the El Shaddai. Mm. And when you understand that, you're on your way to victory. You got about 40 seconds. Oh, well, that's a, that's a long time. Praise the name of the Lord. But I just want to uh, uh, just encourage you, um, um, like the bishop says, straighten up your clothes, pick up your hung down hand, mm -hmm. straighten up those knees and walk according to this word because watch this here. That's what you are and you must become what you are in this world if you want to experience the victory that God has promised you. He's already promised you, and not only promised you, Bishop, he's provided for it. Absolutely. So you have to walk in it. And how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? Praise the name of the Lord. And these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Praise the name of the Lord. And we've yes. got to take it, watch this here, and, and, and walk in it. And the, the scripture says, now thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. Amen. That's it. Out of your bed, out of your, out of your.